Swindon have lost two in a row, but manager Steve McMahon stands by the same starting eleven. There's no cause for alarm, he says. Steve Coe, signed from Aston Villa, operates up front alongside Wayne Allison these days, with Mark Walters, another Villa old boy, of course, operating in a free role in support of them. Oxford have recovered strongly from their indifferent start of the season. Seven matches unbeaten now. Today, Dennis Smith is relieved to have goalkeeper Phil Whitehead and fullback Les Robinson both returning from injury. Another key defender, Matt Elliott, though, is out, so Darren Purse continues at the back. But the main focus of attention will be on this man, Joey Beecham, now in his second spell with Oxford, played for Swindon, of course, in between, but never hit it off with Steve McMahon. It's Oxford, then, who get us underway. Swindon's largest crowd of the season so far for what's always a passionate local affair. No love lost between these two rival clubs, who last season, of course, were promoted together from the second division. Swindon as champions, Oxford in second place. Get up, get up. Headed off by Allison. He was leaning into Mike Ford, Oxford's captain. Steve McMahon, who hopes to be fit himself fairly soon. He's recovering still from a back injury. Robinson to David Smith. And he was clattered there by Scott Leach. It's a hefty challenge by the Scottish midfielder. Ford has gone up again. And that's his header. Well played by Talia. Mike Ford has scored three times for Oxford this season. So he's clearly a menacing figure. Ford. Now Moody. Beecher. Being held unfairly by Mark Seagraves. Didn't start the season too well, Beecham, but he has settled down in the last few matches. Showing the form that made him a star during his first period at Oxford. to Waters. As he was caught by Beecham. And the referee, quite rightly, has given the free kick to Swindon. Over there, it's Joey Beecham, who's down on the ground. But he went in rather recklessly then on Waters. Certainly nudged him over. who clears for Oxford, only as far as Scott Leach. Now Waters, Leach again to Coe. Showing a lot of mobility, Steve Coe. Here's Waters, better football from Swindon. Waters with a chip, but didn't deceive Phil Whitehead. Way by Ford to fight Moody. This is Culverhouse. Beecham claiming he was tripped. It was surely only a stumble, though. Nothing malicious there from Culverhouse. Beecham simply ran into him. But he's getting a bit stoked up, Joey Beecham. And he's coming in for some fearful stick from the crowd. Here's Culverhouse. Beecham going in very aggressively. He's walking a bit of a tightrope here. I'm sure Dennis Smith will be looking to carve him down at half-time. Free kick to Oxford. Well, there's no doubt about his talent, Joey Beecham. And his career is on the rise again, now that he's back at Oxford. His hometown club. Just exchanging opinions with Scott Leach. And one or two of his teammates just trying to Get him to compose himself, to calm down now. Martin Gray. Oh dear. Beecham. Slot it through for Jepson. Beecham. He's not going to get a decision there. Ford's free kick, just flipped on by Moody, and oh, just over the top. Well, Darren Purse, very unlucky there, not to score his first Oxford goal. Pedley, 
Here's Co. Now O'Sullivan. Walters with the header and chipped away. Terrific save then by Whitehead. The header looked to be arrowing into the corner before Whitehead's intervention. He's gone in front of Les Robinson there. And a flying save by Whitehead. Walters closest to a goal so far for Swindon. It goes Horlock! And it's squeezed over the line. Kevin Horlock. Well, moments earlier, Whitehead had performed heroics to keep out the header from Walters, but this time he's beaten by the sheer power of the header from Kevin Horlock. His third goal of the season. And it's Jimson on the line who couldn't it out. Smith. Bobby Ford. He was on the periphery of things in the first half. Didn't really influence the game in any way. He's such a talented player. Moody. Daras, who'd come across to cover. Well, Steve McMahon will be happier now, although he doesn't look it. Now Gilchrist can't take the throw. Looking for Moody. And picked on by Jackson. Moody's a willing chaser. Culverhouse, but take no risks there. Jepson again is hovering just behind Moody. Hoping something will come his way. It goes forward. Talia just got down in time. Well, here is the chance then that came Oxford's way. It's all very untidy. That's the header from Ford. Spectacularly kept out by Talia. Beecham. Still Beecham. Good little run. Well, he never really settled at Swindon, Joey Beecham. But he's reminded us again today of his outstanding talent. And if Oxford can continue to get the best out of him, he is going to be a very valuable asset for them this season. Moody, Beecham, seeking to take advantage now. They've got three in the middle. They've got ball for the keeper as Moody descended on him. And he held on well then, the Australian, before Moody collided with him. For Moody, who's not short on aggression or belligerence. And his arm snaked out there and caught him in the face. Oxford still hoping something will come their way. Robinson to Massey, and they've got four in the middle here. Down by Beecher, Seagraves to clear, but only to Robinson! It was fairly well wide of goal in the end. But certainly a few Swindon hearts skipped a beat there. Relief for Talia. Now Gray for Oxford. Seagraves under pressure from Rush. And he couldn't afford to be complacent there. A shorter throw this time to Gray. And picked in over the top by Ford. Right in front of goal. Well, a glaring miss. He could have rescued a point for his team there. An amazing let off. Gray, who curled it over, and Ford, right in front of goal, steered it over the bar. Just simply had to score there. Little flick on, and he couldn't take.